Hey guys, happy to see you again today in our demo. And uh, today we are going to we are going to continue from where we stopped in our last uh, demo. So this demo is all about converting Java Java um, objects to XML file. So um, quickly, I'm going to open up the project and uh, see what we did in our last uh, demo. So we created this. We created this object here, this Pojo. And uh, after that, we created the main class and uh, we created this method that actually um, take this object and convert it to, uh, to XML, XML format and print out to the console. So what we're going to do today is to, is to add another method that will actually save this object to an XML file instead of printing to the console. So that is what we're going to do. So in case you have not watched the first video, I really encourage you to, to do that. Just search this channel and watch the first video. So that is where you're going to see all the dependencies we use for this, um, this, convert, this uh, demo. And uh, we, we, from there, you're going to see what we actually said about this class, about uh, these annotations. So that is where you will see. So I really encourage you to watch that uh, video. Okay. So having said that, we are going to create a second method here that we that we take this object and save it to xml file so for that i'm going to create um, another method which is private um, static void uh, that is void sorry this is void void right this void and uh, the name of this method is going to be um, save save student save student oh sorry yeah student to xml file save student to xml file and we are going to pass the student object in here and um, calibrates here cool so this is the method that will do that for us so what we are going to do is to actually um copy because it's basically the same thing the same thing right so we're just going to take these three code the three lines of code and uh, paste it here so after this we are going to have another line of code here um, that we actually create this to file for us so we have the file um, equals new file and here we are going to pass the name of the file we tend to save the students in so this one will be student.xml file and um, just uh, terminate and after that we are going to take the marshaller too right so let me just copy the marshaller from here that we actually marshal the student to file um here instead of writing to string we are going to take the file we've just created and put it here and we're going to throw the exception let's just throw this no need of uh, so we throw this okay so this is basically all we need to do to save to convert and save the students to um, XML file okay cool so having done this let's run our project and see what we got so I'm just going to indicate here as well oh my gosh sorry I have not I have not called this method so sorry um, just going to call this method before we run oh sorry it's my bad <laughs> I, I need me to do this okay so let's call the method which is save student and pass in the object of the same student right so this method here this method is printing the object to the console while this one here is saving the student to to act to xml file okay so let's run it again and see what we got so this one here i'm going to just indicate here the job of this um, method so saving the student to xml file xml file so this is what the method is doing okay um now our project has been executed successfully you can see that the first method here actually did his job as well by printing the student to the console um, here you can see that the student has been printed to the console in the format of XML right and now if you look to our project directory you're going to see a newly created file here 
with the same name here, student.xml, and this is student.xml. So if I open up this file, we're going to see that we have, you know, this file, the student has been saved to the XML file. Okay, so that is all we have to do to save the student to XML file. So this brings us to the end of um, today's um, demo. Um, so please, if you have not watched the first one, I encourage you to do that so that you can understand it fully um, up to how we get to this point. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in our subsequent video. And please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share. And also, if you have any comments, don't forget to drop it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for being around and um, see you again. Goodbye.